Hello friends. Hey guys, when you pop on, say hi, so I know who's with me. Hi, Deb. Hi, Heather. I always squint when I'm looking up because I have light bulbs above me. I always feel like I'm, <laughs> Hi, Lori. You know how you can tell when you're getting old? When you can hear the, your husband's bedroom TV on clear down here in the dungeon he's getting he can't hear so hi Ames so I apparently because I can hear that TV just like I'm can't believe you guys can't hear it the old boy's getting up there getting old we're gonna do some eggs tonight Hi, Jamie. And um, I painted these three eggs. I got a pink one and a purple one. Hi, Cheryl. And a light blue one. <laughs> I remember going to my grandparents' house and we'd walk into the front yard and my granddad had his TV on so loud, you could, honest to God, you could hear it just like you were sitting in the living room before you even walked in the house. What I did with these guys is, hi Glenda, thank you. If you guys would, um, bottom right hand corner, S-H-A-R-E, bottom left hand corner, um, that would help my business and get me out to other people. That's how my business will grow, and I would really appreciate it. Even even you, Lori, down there. Maybe someone down there would be interested. When you paint something, it gets kind of a... If you look at it, it gets kind of a hairy surface. It kind of raises your fibers of your wood. So I'm going back and sanding, and I'm going to kind of distress the edges of, the, of these eggs. These eggs I bought online from a company called Craft Deals, D-E-A-L-Z. And they do great work. Um, I will. I cut a lot of things out myself and I will cut these out myself, but this is where I got these last year. Take that down. So I'm just gonna kind of, and I did paint them with my chalk paint, you guys. I just, Watered down my chalk paste a little bit and painted them. Could have used acrylic. Acrylic is fine. Um, but I just, I just used my, and it's not like I don't have acrylic. I got a whole ceramic shot full of it. But I just used my, my chalk paint. Wasn't today beautiful, you guys? Holy moly. I wasn't aware that today was supposed to be as nice as it was. I was thinking we were going to start the beginning of yucky weather. Hi, Leslie. All right, now that I'm in a cloud of dust, chalk paint. Look at that, a lot of it comes off. I'm gonna wipe them off real quick so I don't have the dust. Whew, I feel 
like I'm in a cloud. Toss that down because that is a mess. Let me wipe up. Hey, Jeff. Hi, Steli. How's my girl? Is Jeff Jeff or is Jeff Mila? Got some grandkids watching. Get this wiped off, get it cleaned up here. Just remember you can use your chalk paste as paint too, because it will work. Okay. So I've got the three eggs. And I'm gonna turn the camera down so you guys can see what I'm doing. There you go. And I want to tape off the centers. Let's see, I want I think I want to chalk the I feel like I might want to chalk the bottoms. So this is just gonna block off so I can do some chalking down there. This one I kind of want to put the Hoppy Easter on. So I need to make sure that it fits. All of our transfers come in these plastic sleeves. They're plastic envelopes. I do keep mine in those. After I clean them, and I just clean them with uh, lukewarm water or tepid temperatured water. I write on the back of this that it is the back so that I don't put the transfer on the wrong side. And I just want to see where this is going to fit on my big egg. Okay. So I think I will also decorate the bottom of that one with my, put a design on it. Should, here's the deal, I'm gonna put those lines, then I need to match my tape up with, the lines up here. and hope it's straight. Hi, Deb. And I may end up, you know what, I may end up decorating the top side of that one because I want to put a tag on these. on it that has something on that tape hmm. I'll turn that off <clears throat> so I thought about doing them like the lighter color like a lighter pink on this one a lighter lavender and a lighter blue but then I thought I'll just use white I think that's probably the way to go and the background designs that I have 
our herringbone and polka dots and mini buffalo plaid. The mini buffalo plaid is kind of a turd, pardon my French, but it sure can be. I kind of want it to go, yeah, I kind of want it to go at an angle, I think. Trying to decide if I want to do the decoration on the top or the bottom. And I'm going to go with the top, I believe, on this one. And buffalo plaid is just kind of a stinker. It really is. It just doesn't have a lot of area to stick. So... It's just kind of, you're at the mercy of whatever it does. Sometimes it just turns out wonderfully, and sometimes it's not so wonderfully. Okay guys, let's see what she looks like. Of course I have paste onto my finger right away because I can't do anything without being a mess. A messy. Oh, Leslie said bottom and I screwed up and did top. Oh, cute, 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 it worked. See, so then I'll peel the tape off and that's, so, <laughs> so it looks like a drunkard did that one. Just saying. <laughs> okay, Les, I'm gonna do the bottom on the big blue. I think I'll do that one in the polka dots. to use this one for something but I don't know what so looks like it's already been used at least once and again just line it up push it down and try not to get any bubbles you guys I'm a designer with Chalk Couture which is a DIY company that is deals in chalk paste and ink and surfaces and all supplies you need to make all kinds of wonderful projects and anybody can do it very very simple and lots of transfers that you can mix and mingle to make your own ideas I also have a VIP page. There's specials on the VIP page that is not for designers. It is for customers and club members only. So if you are interested in joining my VIP page, just put VIP in the comments and I will send you an invite to that. Oh, those are cute. Kill the tape. Let me, of course, is that, who's a high grandma? Is that Chloe? Or is that Stelly? Cute. 
cute, isn't it? And on the pink one, we'll do it on the bottom too. I'll probably regret not doing it on the bottom on that other one. And this one, I guess we'll do the herringbone. Something different. Thanks, Deb. Deb, you'd like this. Sherry's, Sherry started doing it. She joined the club. And she got her kit, finally. My Lord Almighty. I was starting to wonder, but she finally got it. And... She's excited to get started. It's a fun craft. Make a lot of gifts. Make a lot of Christmas gifts. Last night I etched on glass and she sent me a private message and said that she is excited to try. She used to etch on mirrors, so she's going to do some etching on some mirrors. So that's going to be exciting. You can even put those in frames and be beautiful. Just 90 degree angle, you guys. Just, just like you're cleaning your car window. Just straight up and down and pull it. You're pushing it through the screen. Then wipe your excess off in your container so you save it because you can use all of that. You don't want to waste any of it. Set that on my backer sheet. Set it in my pile of crap. <laughs> Do we all have a pile of crap? I think so. I think so. And then I'll peel that tape off. And I just use this sensitive paint tape. It really, so that is the little herringbone. That one turned out cute too. So I'm gonna let those dry for a second. And we're gonna do, let me just put these out of the way gonna have a transfer cleanup tonight oh, lordy so we have these chockable chips <laughs> it is easy enough for you to do absolutely my grandchildren do it we have fun at it it is I'm telling you it is a craft for any age any age Okay, I want the white. These are our chockable chips. And um, they come in black and white. And um, I'm thinking, let me see here. I guess I don't have a new pack here. I have it upstairs. Um, thinking there's 12 in a pack. And they're out of a, mm, they're, they say they're wood, but they're not, they're weird. They're not wood. Hi, Andrea. Oh, thanks. You're sweet. I'm excited to have our girl day Saturday. This thing is a crocodile. This I had when I did card stamping. And um, it is a hole puncher, and it will punch a hole in this wood. So I'm going to put it down there. And I'm trying to think if I want to punch a hole in it. Well, I'm going to, so to show you. See, that just punched right through there. It's kind of a 
compressed wood or something. Just punches right through. No, no problemo. And those three little tags. I have our spring minis. So I have all these little doodads and I'm gonna make a, hi Cindy. I'm going to make a, something on each of these. So while these are drying and they should be getting pretty good. These are also on our reusable surface. So if, you know, if at some point you wanted to not have them, you could, you could do them again. You could clean them off and do them again with something else. So I think I'll just do them in the three colors that I did these in. And I think we'll do a About, let's do a hello spring and so these will just stick right on here these are what my grandkids made in our Christmas minis we have these minis come out in all different all different um, season seasonal things so um, my grandkids made their Christmas ornaments. They, my, my girls and my boys, and they loved it. They absolutely loved it. Just holding it at a 90 degree angle, spreading the paste through the screen. And clean it off and put in your excess. And there you go. Bring on spring. Who isn't ready? Holy moly, I am. Um, I think on the big one, because I'm going to put um, Hoppy Easter, I might do this little bunny face. And I think I'm going to do it in... So I think I'll put the pink on the purple, the purple on the blue, and the blue on the pink. How about that? Hi, Karen. This seriously is a craft for anyone and it is just it is just the most fun you guys I'm telling you anybody that knows me knows that I've been crafting for oh my god so many years I can't even tell you and this one is this is a good one for me I love it love it love it And we'll do the blue with what on that little pink one? Hmm. Do we just want Happy Easter? Since that is an egg after all. Don't really need that big thing. There is a club, Club Couture, 
which is $19.99 a month plus tax, and that gets you a, an exclusive transfer. And if you are a club member this month, if you log into my page and go to the top, they're scrolling across the top, I'm told, that you will see club member specials. And on those specials, they are offering, I think it is three paste colors together. Of the, the, you get the three as a kit, and it's a 25% discount. And there are other specials for our club members, and our club members get specials every month. And they get $4.95 flat rate shipping. So that's, that right there is fantastic in my book. So um, I'm wondering about that Hoppy Easter. Um, I am gonna, there is gonna be a ribbon that's gonna go across the middle. So I think I may just do it in the white. I love this font, so cute. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that is just cute. Any questions, anybody? Let me show you that one. Hoppy Easter. That's cute. Okay, let's get those. So that one will go there. That one will go there. And I do have a couple of ribbons made, but I'm going to make another one out of this blue. And um, I thought I would show you again how I make a bow. I don't know if it's right, but it's the way I was taught. So, I take the ribbon and I make a loop. And I scrunch it in. Then I take the bottom and about the same size and scrunch it in. Go to the top, again, make it about the same size, scrunch it in. And if you're making a center to your bow, you whip it around your thumb in a circle, scrunch it, and then you're back still at your bottom and you've got your bottom loop. Then you can do however I'm going to do one more on each side, so I have three and three. And you bring out your tail, you cut it as however long you want it, and you bring this in and scrunch it in there and make it about the same as what you cut, so you'll end up with three tails. And then, if I can reach my wire, you take wire and go through the center, bring it around the back, pull it tight, and twist. And that's your bow. This is wired ribbon, so it's, it will shape up really nice. And you just fluff your bow. And there, you, that's your little bow. Hi, Carrie. Okay. I think I want my... A little nervous to touch those, but... I think I might 
throw the heat on them for just a second. I think they're dry, but I don't want to. There we go. I'm going to take some jute and run it through those. So I'm going to push it through the front and run it through the hole and bring it up so that way that's that's the way if my if you were making a Christmas ornament that would keep it hanging to the front. So you can use these little tags on anything. You can put tags on oh my goodness, so many things. that one. Sounds like we're going to get rain this weekend. It sounds like we're going to get a lot of rain this weekend. Okay, and the next thing I want to do is I've got this ribbon. And I want this to go across the middle of my eggs. So I probably want it to go around the back just for aesthetics so it looks decent. And probably I think I want to tie this to this ribbon. Or at least... Because I kind of like it to hang. Like I like movement. I'm thinking anyway. Well, maybe... Maybe not for that one, because... May end up having to hook that one down just because of the fact that the ribbon isn't... I should have took my... Um, should have taken my design up a little bit further... Maybe I can make it work. You know what? I probably don't even need to probably could put that jute back behind and not even I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to bury that jute behind the knot behind.
and then put my little pink bow on that one. I don't use good scissors to cut my wire. I try not to ruin good ribbon scissors with um, you cut wire with them and you, you're going to ruin them. decide what your top or bottom is of your bow. This one might look a little bit too babyish, I guess, pink and blue. But you can have pink and blue for Easter too. You can use your squeegees for so you don't burn your hands on your glue. You burn your hands about one time with hot glue and you pretty much figure it out. So that's, that is one of them. That little thing will just stick there and it'll set up. Just barely, but it'll set up. I should have, like I said, I should have moved that herringbone up just a smidge so that my, the rest of them won't be that way. Now, because this one, I have it on the top because I'm a dummy, I'm going to run this across the bottom here. I'll just go ahead and cut that. I love that buffalo plaid, though. I, I actually think they stopped the mini buffalo plaid, but we still have the bigger buffalo plaid. And I am lucky enough to have another small buffalo plaid transfer, so pretty sure I'm going to be rat hole in that one because I like it too much to like it too much to sell it or to give it away. And again, but I'm gonna put this one down. Well, I'm gonna have to look here and see. No, I'm not, I'm gonna have to go up a little bit. It's gonna have to go right there. So it's about halfway in between the two. take a chance. Just run a, just to run a line of hot glue to hold your ribbon in place. Doesn't take much. If you're here on the replay, put hashtag replay. And again, if you can sprinkle me out there, that would be fantastic. So appreciated. You never know where somebody from some other state or place would be willing, you know, would like to know about something different you don't you know you never know who knows who knows and who doesn't know
Anybody have any big plans for the weekend? I saw a couple of my classmates are going skiing in Colorado where there's supposed to be like 40 inches of snow. I said, well, I hope to God that you're not driving there like tomorrow or the next day because you might not even be able to get there. But no, they were they were going today, so they were gonna make it. But man, I wouldn't wanna be wouldn't wanna be up there in that forty inches of snow. I'm kind of over the snow this year. <laughs> Okay, so that is that one, and then here is a little purple bow to go on that one. And you know, you could add some silks and stuff, and I did stick some silks and stuff out here, but I don't know. I, I think I'll just keep it to the ribbon, the ribbon and the bow and the tag. That one turned out really cute. even for being on the top side. Whoop, didn't let my hot glue sit long enough here. There we go. And then we got this beauty. I love this one. I think this one's my favorite. I want to go camping too, man. I've already got my first, we've already got a couple, well, we have several, several weekends already booked. Try to go at least once a month in the summertime. And I'm a spring and fall camper girl. I'm kind of a wuss when it comes to, I'm not a July when it's 100 degrees out. That's not my jam. This one's cute too. I think I will tie the knot in it. One year we went, we booked in June, like the first week in June, or no, we booked in May. And the weekend that we reserved, we got a snowstorm. So we didn't go, of course. And, um, from that point on, we decided we would never book again in May. We'll wait till we don't book any earlier than June, so. Wonder if I would even. In my VIP page, I'm able to offer specials, and I do have a couple specials over there um, if you want to go look. And um, if you want to join my VIP page, it is, it is just a page, just a private page. We are not allowed to offer any specials unless it's on a private group, and our VIP pages are our private groups. So they are just for designer, or just for customers and club members, which are our customers also. So, see, it took me three of them to figure out I probably didn't need to go all the way across there with the glue. I'm a slow learner. Thought that burlap was cute with that lace in the middle. A little bit country. You know, a little rustic, but not still eastery. And I could take, and I may take a um, ink pad and distress the eggs a little bit. I could do that. It's a lot of work to go camping too, Deb. For us it is anyway, for me it is. I'm the one that 
you know, gets all the food ready and packs the camper up. And, you know, he's the one that sets it up when we get there and all that, that stuff, which I help with that too. But um, it's a lot of work. We enjoy it though. We really enjoy it. Been, been time spent with our grandchildren that, you know, we hope are precious memories for them. So I'm going to set these up and you guys can look at them. And I'm going to unplug my glue gun because guess what? It was on when I came down here today. I'm going to start our dang house on fire. I'm sorry, you guys. There we go. So that's our deal today. There's our hoppy Easter. And the cute little tags. I think those turned out adorable. What a cute little Easter display or in a two, two or three tiered tray. So guys, that's that was what I got for you tonight. If you have any questions, um, just contact me. Just PM me, and I'll be glad to answer anything. I do have a website. It is um, chalkcouture.com backslash sweddingfeld. Thanks, Lori. Didn't they turn out cute? I think those are, they just look springy. I really like that blue one. The blue one's a cute one. Um, and like I said, we have the club, and I have kits, and I have a VIP page where I have some bargains going on over there. And um, I do not think I will be back tomorrow night. I have, uh, I have a class coming in, and they're going to be making welcome signs for their porch, porch leaners. And I don't think that... We might be done by 8.30, but it would be a press if we if we are. I, I think we will, but it would be a press for me to get down here and get stuff together. So if I'm not here tomorrow night, you know why, and I will see you on Monday. So you guys have a great night, and thanks for watching. I appreciate, you don't know how much I appreciate you watching. And um, have a great night. We'll see you later. Thanks.